Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Octopath Traveler. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. Help, I'm being cuddled by a slug. I'll get the salt. And JK Lantern. Who's up for a rousing game of joust? If it means we won't have to go through sadness and misery, I will play Joust. I, I mean, this chapter's been fine. So far? It looks like that wasn't it. Nope, Aww. there's more. There is more. The mansion lied. The mansion's a liar. There's more of them. More horrifying slugs. What next? Yep. Help! Ishi. I think they want my mouse bacon. I thought slugs were vegetarians. There goes nothing. Not these ones, apparently. <laughs> oh. Are, are you familiar with the cone snail? Oh, yes, I understand that there are some that are not, but overall, your snail subsists on leaves. As a general rule. <laughs> the, the ones that don't are horrifying. Yes! The ones that can spear you from a foot away. Which you wouldn't think a snail could do, but by God it can. Yep. Out of my way. And then there are the snails that are literally the length of your arm and completely harmless. Come in, mm -hmm. if thou darest. Mollusks. Kind of wonderful. So what do mollusks actually contribute to the ecosystem? Um, it depends on the mollusk, because uh, it's a very diverse phylum. Uh, mollusks, you have gastropods, you have cephalopods. Um, hang on, let me, let me look up what all includes mollusks. Let's see here. The, like, a whole ton of things are mollusks. Um, because they're the second like most, they're the second largest phylum of invertebrates after arthropods. Victory uh, shall be mine. But like clams, clams are a mollusk. Them. They're a bivalve. Uh, I am ready. You, you, <laughs> octopodes, squids, <laughs> cuttlefish, snails, slugs, clams. With each battle, but I mean, it's I just you see down. snails, you see slugs, and all this is like, what purpose does this thing serve? Other things eat them. Is is that it? Pretty they, much they just all, a food source. They also eat other things. Hunted. Oh good, it's they, one of those. Letting my arrow fly in truth. The hell am I looking at? Is that a trampy? Thunder Curator. It it's it's a dire lamp. It's like those it's lamp the things. World, it's the world's worst dream catcher. Got it. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't like arrows. How does it reproduce? Uh, I would carefully. imagine that lamp that's holding on to ain't go. just for light. Oh my. Oh, I just had an interesting image in my head. Oh no. Yeah, maybe that ribbon no. is uh, something else. Well. I mean, it is kind of flashing. Pink. 
It is like with sails and they kind of just intertwine the ribbons. Maybe. <laughs> My arrow fly and true. The dagger sounds good. We go interesting places in these. Bring about a miracle of healing. I mean, I was questioning if those slugs actually go. just kiss and one of them eats the other one and that's how they reproduce they're, they're like yerks they produce by fission I kind of figured they bit each other in half and each half just grew into a new slug <laughs> uh. blow them away you figure they'd be weak to blizzard the battle is truly I guess they're more hearty than we thought Oh, I thought you got him all in one hit. Bring it on. Yeah, that one wasn't stunned. Hey, you. Go unconscious. How do you like this? Thank you. It's also oh, confused. confused. Hunt. Yes. Adelbort, it does things. Where the hell am I? But does it hit itself in the confusion? Sadly, probably not. You know you want. I'm looking at the orbital laser, and I'm going. No, you know. I get. The, I can get enough back. Cowering before the huntress. By the hunt ends. <laughs> I mean, it only cost me 15 magic points. Yep. And she gets that back, like, every freaking turn. Nothing in here at all. Except the chimney. Yeah, unfortunately, the chimney doesn't seem to, uh... Function. Yeah. I know, it can't take- it can't take us to somebody's bedroom. There are so many different paths, so many different references that could be. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was specifically going with Clock Tower 3, because apparently there's a passageway that goes from someone's bedroom down through a chimney. <laughs> Star has been going through a Clock Tower 3 LP. She has opinions. It is yeah. so freaking weird. Well, yeah, it's Clock Tower. No, I this have... one's extra weird. <laughs> I have zero experience with Clock Tower. See, I only know the first one. I only know the first one. Victory shall be mine. And it's like, what the hell were they on when they made half this game? Okay, but in the third one, they have this thing where they have like magical teen girls that fight off evil Ghosts that possess serial killers? That doesn't but sound only like until much they're 15. A, only until they're 15 like to 20. A damsel game, I'll say that. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to really call a game like that or Haunting Ground or Rule of Rose. It's a damsel game where you play the damsel. Yeah. Well, it's in Rule of Rose, you sort of get battle mechanics, albeit they are crap. <laughs> I've only seen video of Rule of Rose. I never actually got to play it because by the time I knew about it, it was already two hundred dollars to buy a copy. Yeah, I've not played it. I've watched a few LPs of it. Same with Haunting Ground. Haunting Ground, you definitely are a damsel. All you have to protect you is basically the White German Shepherd. Now, Haunting Ground, I played. Hmm. My uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, the oldest. Stepsister I had had a copy of it. I believe that one is the fourth uh, game in the Clock Tower series, or at the very least, it's a successor. Not 
quite enough to do that, but that's just me. Thou didst fight with courage. I will say, by the time I got about halfway through Haunting Ground, I never wanted to hear the name Huey again. We got Huey, Dewey, Louie, Ratatouille. I would have taken... I would have taken any of those names other than Huey for the dog's name, just because tangle, huh? that that girl's voice was kind of grating after a while. Yeah, she's up there with Ashley from Resident Evil 4. It's Huey! Yeah, on top of that, unfortunately, Huey was not well programmed in that... Essentially, you had to earn his trust. Yeah. Otherwise, he was not going to listen to you. And some of the puzzles you needed him for. Yep. I'm ready. The thing is, it made sense mm -hmm. for him to not trust you at all. Right. Considering he was in that goddamn place. Yeah. All right. And, you know, when you find him, he's in a snare trap. Yep. So yeah, you can have to earn his trust, and if you advance in the game too quickly, he's not going to trust you enough to uh, listen to your commands, and thus you die. Well, So you literally have to just kind of kill some time and run around, and pet him, and, you know, play with him. Meanwhile, you've got this massive Frankenstein-looking dude chasing you around the freaking mansion. Yep, thinking you're a doll. <laughs> yep. To be fair, at least he's one of the I will cut you nicer down. serial killers around there. As yeah, he's to not. Be he's not being <laughs> because what you know, next? to put it bluntly, he's mentally handicapped. Uh huh. Mm. He's just, I mean, he's simple, to put it as mildly as possible. Mm. And, um, the thing is, he literally thinks that the main character is just kind of a doll that's walking around. He thinks she's a toy. Yep. As opposed to the second one, who literally wants to stab you to pieces because she's like, I'm the most beautiful and you need to suffer for her. Oh, do you Pretty think that's the that's whole story? No, no, no. She's got another goal. Yeah. No, the the second one, she she wants to rip out her reproductive organs and take them for herself. Mm-hmm. Cat drugs. And in the game yes, world, so. it actually yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Question mark? Yeah. Okay, this is going to take a little while, I would imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, you fight an old man in a wheelchair Come at one point. And then you have to run from him as he's on fire later. Yep. <laughs> well, ninjas can't catch you if you're on fire. <laughs> well, this is, he's on fire, and if he catches you, you catch on fire and die. Yep. And he's, he was in the wheelchair. He's literally crawling around on his elbows to get to chase you. And he's mm. remarkably fast. Mm. And if you get the wrong end, you end up pregnant with his baby. And insane. Yes. <laughs> there are going to be so many people Give going, you what? Shine for <laughs> Here goes nothing. And I mean, I know the reasons the game gives for everything happening uh -huh. doesn't make it any saner. Nah. Victory shall be mine. Which I mean, I can tell you guys what the whole reason for if you didn't know, <laughs> but beginning. it. It will make no sense. Even if we completely explain everything, there's nothing about it that makes sense. 
<laughs> it is one of those. Yep. I am ready. May the sacred flame shine forth. The show is over. Give me that plum, damn it. Feeling. We are at 15 minutes. Mm. I have a feeling that this is the door that leads to the boss fight. Looks a bit more closer than the last one, yeah. It, it turns out at... it turns out there's no actual boss fight. It's just doors just for the rest a, of eternity. This is a series of doors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so with this being 15 minutes, I, I think I better call it a video. Because you know what these boss fights are like. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be a cutscene after the boss fight. And then travel banter after the cutscene. So yeah, I think this marks a good spot to call it. So when we come back, we walk through the door and probably just find more mansion. Again. Yep. Because that's what this game does. It likes to laugh at you. But anyway, until then, take care everybody. Later. Bye, Ed.